You can be the difference. For the first time ever, you can directly impact the outcome on the field by joining Florida Victorious. Want to help the Gators win? Want a better game day experience? Just like when you pack the swamp, your unwavering support through Florida Victorious empowers the Gators to be their best. Join today and be the difference in making the orange and blue victorious. Visit FloridaVictorious.com and use promo code GatorsBD to get 20% off your first month. Gators Breakdown. Because there's never a dull moment in Gator Nation. The Gators Breakdown podcast is ready to go, and it is a big one. I am your host, David Waters. You can find me on social media at GatorDave underscore SEC. And this is a big one because the Gators get their target up front on the defensive line at a Daytona. LJ McCray commits to the Gators over Florida State, over Georgia. Auburn might be in there. Miami might be in there, but it doesn't matter. The orange and blue come out on top right here. LJ McCray the newest Florida Gator commit and the one we've been waiting on and waiting on and waiting on. It felt good for a little while. They maybe got some questionable closer to it. But then in the end, LJ McCray chooses the Gators. So a lot to get into right here with this one. Won't be too long of an episode here, of course. I just had some dental work, all that. Trying to bring you guys a, a, an episode right here anyway. But hey, couldn't let this one go by without talking about it, of course. And Wanted to get it out as soon as possible. So LJ McCray, committing to the Gators. Hit that like button. I know you like what you're hearing right now. Like, 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 smash it. Subscribe to Gators Breakdown right here if you haven't done so yet. We've got plenty to get into with this big commitment. And, of course, if you go to Gators Breakdown Plus, link is in the description. The Discord, if you want to talk more recruiting with some Gator fans just like you, man, I tell you what, that Discord's on fire right now. Hopping with the upbeat, very positive. Mojo going on right now around the University of Florida and this big time commit right here with LJ McCray. So link is in the description to join Gators Breakdown Plus. You get ad free episodes. You get extra episodes, those chats, access to the discord where, hey, you can interact with Gator fans just like you. So Gators Breakdown Plus link is in the description. So all right. We got to, man, this is a big one. I mean, this one is huge cannot overstate it this is like i said it, it was getting to the point where maybe it was questionable and you wasn't sure if it was going to happen and it happened it happened and i guess in the end there was not much what not much to worry about yeah there was i mean this this one did get topsy-turvy i always felt pretty good about florida but florida state was making a run georgia was making a run um florida state recently it seemed like but then the florida gators went out in the end. So, all right, here we go. Let's get to it. Let's dive into LJ McCray. Hey, Gator Nation, you know how we do it. We got to commit, and that is LJ McCray. Take a look at the rankings here. A four-star on the 24-7 sports composite. Would not expect that to last long. I don't know why they have not updated their rankings yet when ESPN updated their rankings during the week. But for now, on the 24-7 sports composite, the 106th overall player, the 16th ranked defensive lineman, and look, if you go to the on three industry rankings, they did update their rankings when ESPN threw, threw theirs into the formula. He is a five star on the on three industry rankings, the 24th overall prospect in the country and the fourth ranked defensive lineman. So how's it break up right now? If you go and look at just the sole rankings of all the services on three has him as the eighth overall player in the country in their own sole rankings, not including all the other ones that the industry does and the composite does on three sole rankings, eighth overall first ranked defensive lineman in the country. 24 seven sports has him as the sixth ranked overall player. The second ranked defensive lineman ESPN. As I said, they just raised their ranking of him. He's the 23rd overall player on ESPN sixth overall Defensive lineman and rivals lagging way behind on LJ McCray. They have him as the 249th overall, 16th ranked defensive lineman. So as I said, all three, if you go, they will show show all. I just went through them all there. I expect the 24/7 Sports Composite to update sometime soon. Um, he will probably be very comparable to the on three industry rankings as you see here. So you're more than likely getting a top 20, top 25 overall prospect and one of the highest-ranked defensive linemen 
in the class of 2024. Woo. Man, I tell you, that's, uh, <laughs> that is elite. That is what you want to get in the defensive lineman. And in state, you want to do, be, you know, getting your guys in state a bit more. You had to go Daytona. This is one that we've just been looking for for so long, and the Gators pull him in. So, all right, let's get to some analysis here of LJ McCray. And of course, Pull up some highlights here, of course, as well, as we can read through these. But 24-7 sports, Andrew Ivins. A big functional athlete is LJ McCray with verified size that can work his way into the backfield. Got snaps on both sides of the ball as a junior for a Daytona Beach mainland program that made it to Florida's 3S title game. Initially built himself as a tight end, but is viewed as many as a defensive lineman long term, of course, and for good reason. He can wedge his way through gaps and blow up protection, work mostly on the edge, but figures to kick inside at the next level given his frame. At this time, it was six foot five, 255, but yeah, he's six, six, 260 now. <laughs> and so um, that growth potential already there. Not the most explosive point to attack player, but can overwhelm blockers with his initial get off and sheer size on Friday nights. Shifts his weight well, constantly flashes the ability to move about laterally. Could improve pad level, but will eventually need to find some more power in the lower half. But should be viewed as a potential multi-year contributor up front for a Power 5 program. Could be molded into a variety of different things, including possibly a space-eating 4-eye in a 3-4 front. Now, if we go to on 3, their analysis of him says big frame athletic defensive lineman with pass rush ability has translatable physical attributes and athleticism at the position that point to a high developmental ceiling. Measured in at over 6 foot 6, 260 pounds prior to his senior season, has outstanding length and a large frame, arms check in at 34.75 inches with hands measuring 10 and a half inches, lines up as a big defensive end on Friday nights, shows upside as a pass rusher, using first-step quickness to get into the backfield, has high-end closing speed for a player of his highs, plays with a very encouraging level of physicality, bullies offensive linemen on contact and finishes plays with violence, works to get off blocks with vigor. Also sees time as tight end, finishes junior season with 17 and a half tackles for loss, can continue honing in his technical skill as he fills out and grows into his body compared to Javon Kinlaw. A first round pick in 2020 from the University of South Carolina. And in Daytona Beach, Florida, the mainland coach Travis Rowland, hey, look, he isn't shy when he's talking about McCray. And this is high praise. And if one, as a Gator fan, you would love for it to work out. His head coach, Travis Rowland, he says he reminds him of the freakish Javon Curse. Length, size, and speed. He's a super flexible athlete. His bend is amazing. He puts in a lot of effort. You don't see many guys at 6'7 that can get in low aggressive stance like him. You should see him in DB drills. The fluidity is amazing. So, of course, <laughs> this goes on. I mean, compared to Javon Curse, we take it in a heartbeat. Anybody would take that in a heartbeat, but us being Gators, that, that, that comparison to a Gator great, whoo, man, that makes you feel good. So 47 tackles, 17 and a half tackles for loss, three sacks while, record, record, while recording 14 catches for two scores in 2022. He just takes over the game, Roland said. So all right, there's some good analysis right there. Of one LJ McCray. I mean, just in the backfield a lot. Look here, I mean, he's showing some highlights and boom, there you go. Blocking a field goal. I mean, he does it all. He does it all. Play, could play both sides of the ball. And when you look at the highlights, I mean, when you hear the word aggressive, doesn't give up. Now, and that too may not make the initial play at times when you're seeing in some of these highlights, but we'll come around to making the play at least. You know, he keeps his head in the game, but I mean, he's just. He, especially when you look at the highlights, he just towers over everybody. I mean, of course, when you're six, 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 seven, I mean, you're going to look pretty big on a high school football field. Uh, looking at these two, this is Barton Trail highlights right here in Jacksonville. So uh, playing some good competition as well. But 
Yeah, I mean, this is the comparisons, the size. I mean, you see why he's a high five star. Um, but yeah, you see it right there. LJ McCray, big, big time pickup for the Gators. So, all right, remember Corey Bender was on Gators Breakdown. And we were previewing this. And at the time, he didn't know where L.J. McCray was going. That was the beginning of the week. But did give some analysis of L.J. McCray. So let's dive into one more time the type of player the Florida Gators are getting. Prototypical size, man. Um, you know, six foot six, about 270 pounds, 265 pounds. And when you see those measurables in high school, I mean, a lot of time it's true. But when you see some kids, they're really about six, four and a half, you know, almost six, five. But when you see McCray, he's everything as he is listed, you know, legit six, six. Um, I think he's a versatile guy. I think he's a strong side DN right now who has his, you know, who could definitely kind of play more inside as he gets bigger. And, and it's hard to say bigger, but I think he's a guy that you know, could fill out and play closer to 300 pounds at the next level. Uh, but he's a versatile big body. Kind of reminds me body wise of a Gervon Dexter, kind of how like they used him, just a big body that you can kind of move along the D line. But the one thing I like about McCray um, is his motor. He's a guy that really gets after it for all four quarters and relentless when it comes to backside pursuit. And, you know, for a guy that big and to kind of see him moving around it. And I hate to say, like, I'm a Detroit, you know, obviously, you know, I build, I'm a diehard Lions fan. If you've seen Aiden Hutchinson play, it's kind of very similar as far as a big guy who's just relentless getting north and south and just doing all he can to kind of get in that backfield. So, yeah, whoever they're getting him, I mean, on three, we have him as a number one ranked defensive lineman, a five star prospect. And um, I think he's definitely earned that, you know, just based off the senior play and even dating back to his spring game where he really impressed me as well. There we go. Corey Bender earlier this week on Gators Breakdown, given that insight right there. Uh, hey, look, when you go back and look at I'm, I'm going through 24 seven sports all time rankings right now. And you'll be putting LJ McCray with like whenever they update their composite. I'm trying to do it the best in my head right now. You'd be putting him in about the. Anywhere from about the 11th, anywhere from like 11th to 17, 18 all-time defensive linemen for Florida. And you'd be putting him in names with the likes of Jonathan Bullard, Omar Hunter, Torrey Davis, Dante Fowler, Gerald Willis, Kelby Collins. He's going to be in that range right there. Let you know that's the type of player you're getting right here at the University of Florida with the commitment of LJ McCray. All right, so before we wrap it up, it gives Florida 22 commitments in the class of 2024. Of course, headlined by DJ Lagway, Xavier Filsamy out of the state of Texas. But I mean, this is one we we knew in, gotta gotta start nailing these in-state guys. And when you're competing with Florida State, when you're competing with Georgia, win some of these battles as well. Big, big time. Win overall, but man, also sending shockwaves in the state as well for Florida. You know, don't need these other schools coming in and raiding the state of Florida. Don't need while FSU is winning them getting the guys too. Daytona, not that far away from Gainesville. Go wrap these guys up. Hopefully, Mincy's next. His teammate there at the Daytona mainland. But 22 commits right here for the Gators. And he will join the defensive line class of Amaris Williams, who is 45th overall. On 24 7 sports. This year, Johnson, 74th overall. So you're adding another high level defensive lineman. It'd be a couple classes in a row where you really just stack. You know, this, that's what we're talking about in, in recruiting stack, stack, stack. Florida had to hit the transfer portal for years to shore up the defensive line. You keep recruiting like this, you can go cherry pick and pick and choose if you need to go hit defensive lineman from now on if you keep recruiting at this level. Uh, throw Kendall Jackson there too, who I still like a lot as an underrated prospect. Add McCray to that group. You got a pretty good defensive line class right here for the Gators in the class of 2024. So cannot state how big this one is. I mean, this it, it got a little hairy, got a little hairy this week. We're hearing a lot of FSU love, but the Gators went out in the end for the services of LJ McCray. Well, for now, for now, it is a commitment. Well, you got to hang on to him, got to hang on to all these guys uh, right here, and you're not. And to finish this season on a high note, hopefully, and go sign this recruiting class. And hopefully, LJ McCray's there at the end as well. So, all right, that will do it. Just going over quickly the commitment right here of LJ McCray. Huge pickup for the Florida Gators. 
I'm your host of Gators Breakdown, David Waters. You can find me on social media at GatorDave underscore SEC. Guys and girls out there, thank you for joining me on this episode of Gators Breakdown.